Hello everybody, it is Current Cartoon TV coming back to you with another review of Steven Universe. So, I have my special guests here, Red. Hey guys. And Gundam. Hey guys, what's up? Gundam, how about you give me the synapse of this new episode of Legs from here to Homeworld. The synopsis of the episode is that Steven tells Blue and Yellow Diamond that their final attack on the Earth corrupted the remaining gems on the planet, but instead of destroying them outright as intended. The three together attempt to cure Centipedal's corruption and almost succeed to try to finish the job and cure all the corrupted gems. Blue, yellow, and the crystal gems travel the homeworld to seek White Diamond's help. And does she help them? That's the, going to be the question. Red, what did you like about this? So I still really love that anime-esque animation style that they had going on, especially it, it comes out more frequently with the diamonds. They're just very, very angular and very sharp features. So I still love that aspect. Uh, we got to see Centipedal in her final form, which is Nephrite. That was that was really cool, but also really sad to see um, that, that kind pain. of that pain, that fear, and that panic of no, this can't be happening. And it it takes you back to when the event was actually happening. So that was that was a little intense. It seems like she has no memory of her actually being a centipede either, because she's like, oh, you guys must have won because you guys are here. <laughs> You finally avenged Pink Diamond! You destroyed Rose Quartz! Yeah. Um, I also really loved, uh, who doesn't love, um, Pink Diamond's spaceship. <laughs> oh, the legs. Dem legs! Woo. Dang, she thick! It's getting hot in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I can't believe they actually drew on the panty lines. That was... Fantastic. I, I was not expecting that. Like, okay. There was other things wrong there, but we can't say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get to Homeworld, and we actually get to see the long-awaited White Diamond. And she is just brilliant, like, shining brilliantly. But she looks super crazy, and she looks like a drag queen. And I love it. Just overextended features, heavy, thick, black makeup. I love it. But I'm also, she does have that calm psychotic nature to her which is going to be interesting with this next bomb coming up so there you are hello starlight you certainly gave everyone a scare they're all just thrilled to see you safe and sound we'll just, see what happens with them just like my ex-girlfriend Ooh, slam dang how about you gundam what did you like about this well i loved the colors of course of this episode it was very vibrant as we saw in the last episode, like as Red said, the animation was fantastic and it was continuing with that that sharp style, especially for the diamonds. I love the pacing of this episode. It's actually really well paced how they started right from the fight, went to uh, go cure the centipedal, and then right after that are already packing up, ready to go to, to Homeworld. Um, I'm still like, where's Lars? Because Always. They, That's the I'm, question. Su I'm surprised they didn't pass him in space, like, to say, like, even as, like, a joke, you know, to show that he's oh, been, you know, good. he's uh, he's like, in a Dang little it. slow, you know, almost like a buggy at this point <laughs> trying to get to oh, Earth. God. I really love White Diamond's style a lot. I mm. thought she did, her character design was really good, and it was worth the wait after all these years, pretty much. Has it been years? It feels yes. like years. Yes, it has. Okay. She has, like, this robotic seem, like robotic feel to herself when she speaks like she's like almost reading from a script so I kind of yeah. think there's something a little bit more there that we're just not seeing but I love it I love that mystery and um, I thought they're on right right track story wise I think they're going like I said right where it needs to be and doing it fast Absolutely. what I like about this was that big reveal at the end of the episode white diamond showing in person it was like wow uh, yeah you're very tall very bright yeah, that was very amazing and all that. And I did like how seeing how the actual yellow and blue diamond actually tried to heal Centipede Nephrite. And they failed. They couldn't heal her 100% and that's when they got the idea to actually go into Homeworld to actually talk to White Diamond. We can only do so much. If it was the four of us. Who do we need? What do you mean who? White. White Diamond? But one of the funniest things I like to see is actually Steven trying to find the spaceship in the desert. We can split up the area like a grid and divide the search. It's just past these pink pyramids. Uh, Steven? <laughs> He's like, it's behind these two big pink pyramids. It's like, 
Steven. That's the ship. So that was kind of funny that he, it was like underneath his nose the whole time. He didn't, didn't even know what it was. And that's pretty much what I liked about this whole episode. Gundam, you have any dislikes? I have zero dislikes about this episode. Well, I guess I have one. Is that it, it left us with a very frustrating cliffhanger. From home, pig. Hold on! Like, I am... It, you know, just watching it again and, you know, having it fresh in my mind, I remember how devastated I was seeing that clip the first time. So now I'm even more in distraught and I can't wait to see what they are going to show next. Red, do you have any dislikes about this episode? Again, I have nothing. It feels like I'll be grasping at straws at this point, so I really don't have anything I dislike. I have no dislikes. Even though this was like a really short episode compared to the episode before Reunited, I have no dislikes on this. So... Gundam, what do you give this? I give it a 5 out of 5. I think, again, with the last two episodes and the last one being like one of the best episodes ever, they're on the right track. Continue it, guys. Please, we don't want another Summer of Steven had like three <laughs> episodes that did nothing. So yeah. keep it going. How about you, Red? Yeah, same. 5 out of 5. Gundam said it very well said. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I am sorry. Oh my sorry. god, why? This is It was awful. a great episode? I swear to God. But not as good as Reunited. What? <laughs> it was not that's as That's not a dis... That's, that's not a dislike. I mean... Oh, come on. It's like saying... You can't say God of War 2 is a 9 and God of War 3 is a 10. They're both 10s. They're both lesser masterpieces. So the, this is still a 5. But I guess whatever. Yeah, 4 out of 5. I'm sorry, guys. So... Ah. I feel like that's a cop out. Well, I didn't like it. Why? I don't know. Like you have, you give no reasoning on why it wasn't as good. We still got. It could have been. We got a lot of plot in a short amount of time, and with like that drastic cliffhanger, like it, it's perfect ending. That's it's why it's a I, great ending to the next bomb. The the pacing was so good. That's what I was saying. Like the pacing was so good. It was, ugh. Gundam, did it. you like rub off your negativity <laughs> onto him, or what? What's happening? Um, well, mm -hmm. I mean, time makes fools of us all, apparently. So I guess we all. <laughs> Ow! Wrecked. That, that hurt. That really hurt. Oh, thank you guys for all listening in through this burn on me. Well, thank you guys for all listening in to us and watching our video about this Steven Universe review. Thank you again, Red. Yeah, not a problem. Thanks for having me on. And thanks, guys, for watching. We really appreciate you you taking in the show. Uh, please read the description below. We have some good links down there for Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we have a Patreon down there. And, Red, you have some links down there as well. Yeah, so I have a Facebook page. I'm at Perfectly Red Cosplay. And I'm also on Instagram at Perfectly Red. Thank you, guys. Good night. Thank you, guys. See you, guys.